Hello friends. Welcome back to my channel The Indian Mom's Kitchen. Today's recipe is a biryani recipe. We are not making a non-vegetarian biryani today, but a vegetarian one which is super yummy. This is a variety biryani. It's the small brinjal biryani. This is very popular in Andhra and uh, it has a different and uh, exquisite masala that goes along with this. So let's start making today's recipe. For this first I'm going to cook the rice. For that I'm boiling a huge pot of water. I've added salt to it. 2 tejpatta or bay leaves, a teaspoon of cumin or jeera, 3 cloves of lavang, a piece of cinnamon or dalchini. a handful of mint leaves i'm using the frozen one i if you have fresh one use a fresh one a teaspoon of ghee let this water come to a good boil and then add uh, two cups of uh, basmati rice which i've washed and soaked for half an hour now to make sure that your rice is cooked perfectly 70% has normally all recipe says once this mixture comes back to a boil time yourself for exactly 5 minutes after 5 minutes you can drain the water from the rice and your rice will be perfectly cooked after 5 minutes when you check a grain of rice it should not squeeze and squish it should break like this now for the masala i have roasting half a cup of peanuts Two cardamom elaichi, one inch uh, dalchini or cinnamon, three cloves of lavang. Try to roast the peanuts, get a good color. Then adding two tablespoons of sesame seeds or white dill, one teaspoon of jeera or cumin. Dry roast everything, and once it's cooled down, transfer it to a blender. To this, I'm going to add two teaspoons of dhania coriander powder, red chili powder two teaspoon, half a teaspoon of haldi or turmeric, salt to taste, a small piece of tamarind or imli, one teaspoon of ginger garlic paste. Blend everything till it forms a coarse powder. The masala is ready. Now for the brinjals. I've taken half a kg of small brinjals. Keep the stem to keep it together, and then I'm going to make a cross incision at the bottom side of the brinjal. This is twofold. This is one for stuffing, as well as you can check if there are any worms in it. Now we can stuff the brinjal properly, fully, with the masala that we just made. Stuff all the brinjals and keep aside. Here I'm frying one onion till it's nice and brown and crisp. Once it's nice and brown, I'm going to remove it from the oil, keeping it aside. In the remaining oil, I'm going to shallow fry the stuffed brinjals. Cook this on very low flame. Cover and cook so that the brinjal is cooked properly. Keep stirring it in between. Once you see that the brinjals are cooked nicely, I'm going to add the remaining masala which I'd use for stuffing. Mix well and let the brinjals continue to cook. In the meantime, we're going to make a gravy for these brinjals. I've taken half a cup of dahi or curd to which I've added salt to taste, a teaspoon of red chili powder. One tablespoon of biryani masala. The video for this is already uploaded on the channel. Give it a good mix, and then I'm going to add a handful of coriander leaves and a handful of the fried onions that we had done earlier and kept. Mix everything well. Add this curd mixture into the uh, cooking brinjals. give everything a good mix you'll start to see that the curd is releasing a bit of water and giving your brinjals a bit of gravy 
cook it for another 2 to 3 minutes and your brinjal gravy or your biryani gravy is ready now in the pot that you are going to assemble the biryani i put a teaspoon of ghee spread it out evenly and then i'm going to layer it with rice spread the rice out evenly i'm adding orange food color this is optional you can skip this entirely a sprinkling of coriander leaves fried onions now spread the brinjal gravy evenly all over the rice i'm adding more coriander leaves and spreading the remaining rice over this again sprinkling with orange color 1 teaspoon of ghee the remaining fried onions and coriander leaves i'm covering this pot with a foil to give dum for the biryani if you've got a tight lid you can use just that i'm going to top it with the lid and then i'm going to cook it on a low flame for 15 minutes After 15 minutes your flavorful and aromatic brinjal biryani is ready. Serve it piping hot. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, then please give it a big thumbs up. Also comment on and share this video among your friends and family. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet then please do so now and do not forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a great day.